Okay, we've been hearing terms like JDK, JVM, JRE and there are dictionary of such words which kept annoying us. Now let's try to uncover a few of them. We've already talked about JVM and just-in-time compiler in our previous video. So I'm not going to talk about it again and waste your precious time. But one thing which I wish I should have mentioned you in my earlier video is JVM have multiple vendors. Sun Microsystems has their own version of JVM. Similarly, there are some other vendors who claim that their JVM is better than their competitors. So each JVM is different. Some may use interpreter, some may use compiler, and some may use both. So if you got people saying JVM uses only just-in-time compiler or only interpreter, they are all correct because each vendor is having their own implementation of JVM. Okay, let's move on. JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. The word itself says it's a runtime environment which means JRE helps run the Java program or dotless file to be specific. JRE is actually a collection of few tools, utilities, runtime libraries and JVM which together help run the Java program. If you just want to play games or use Java applications, you just have to install JRE. But JRE does not let you develop any Java programs. For that, you need JDK stands for Java Development Kit. It has all the tools and utilities to help you write, debug, compile and run the Java program. You're already aware of one of the tools that JDK has, the Java Compiler. It also has Debugger which helps in detecting the bugs in your code and a few other useful utilities. It also has JRE for you to run the compiled program. So yes, if you install JDK, it comes with JRE. So you don't have to install JRE separately. Okay, that's it. Let's keep things simple for now as we are definitely going to uncover some of the interesting and annoying terminologies as and when we come across with them.